Expect a miracle. Expect a miracle when you pray. If you believe in God, you find to perform a miracle for you. Let's give the Lord praise in the house, shall we? Yep. Let's let's appreciate the worship team, please. Then appreciate yourself as you sit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. They, thy expectation shall not be cut off. Thy expectation shall not be cut off. It is simply saying your hope shall not be cut off. Therefore, I will not become hopeless. My joy shall not be cut off, then I will not be joyless. My expectation shall not be cut off. Greet your neighbor if they are sweating. Release your hand quickly. Go to one who is a little bit drier. Maybe theirs is being cut off. They are expecting nothing. May I like coming to this church because when I look at you, a lot of you are expecting. And those people who expect find. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And I want to believe that Shiloh shall be a place of breakthrough, not because we say so, but because God wanted to be so, and because you believe and I believe. And when we together pray, the Holy Spirit will come down and something, something will take place in our lives. Yani tukija ibada tunagua tukija tukijua chochote chaweza kutokea. Kiwete kinaweza amuka kitembe. Hallelujah. Kansa inaweza teremuka ipote. Katika jina la yesu. Imani inaweza zuka mande wende ukanze kazi mpia. Baraka zinaweza shuka financial miracle. Yani tuk... You know these ladies went to a conference and the main speaker was my wife. Can you imagine? My wife. Ah, salimia jirani yako, my wife. <laughs> hey! And the preacher there talked about two things and I caught them. Me, I was following from where I was. Sikuwa ni meenda ilikuwa wadada. Me, ilikuwa naangalia, nikuwa mombasa, hivi, hivi, na iangalia. Mubira ilisama maneno nilibeba, nikaweka kwa mfuko na kwa roho. Ni wapi pazuri niliweka? Yeah, because in the pocket it can be washed away when the dry cleaner is cleaning you up. But in the heart, nobody will touch it. The, the point, two points. Two, he says, certain women and I thought, may God cause this church of Shiloh to have certain women. It's not just ordinary women, it's certain. Who supported the ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ financially? Salimia dad alia karibu na yewambie certain women. May you become that certain woman. Wow. Wandugu wa mujawachwa. That was one day. The second day, he preached and said there was a man of a place called Arimathea. He was wealthy. His name was Joseph. Greet a man next to you. Become Joseph. Not of Arimathea, but of your village. In Jesus' name. Because you know wealth, 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 wealth is defense. Mm, pesa need defense. But wisdom is also defense. Lakini pesa is defense. How many people know that if you are driving V8, black one, covered all the window, the police have a problem to arrest you. Right? How many people believe when they see a pro box, they will always want to stop you because they think you are carrying mirror? How many people think so? May the Lord turn your vehicle into something that police will not pursue. Atikila ukipika kona mkono juu. Kila ukipika kona mkono juu. I say, si wauliza ke, sir, can I help you? But I know some of you have been stopped and they have called you, sir. 
What did they see? They saw a V8. But you are still thinking you are in your pro box. May God help you, your mind. Your expectation should not be cut off. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sit well, relax. Wacha kukaa kama ka vizuri, asante. Ka vizuri, you know. I want to speak to people when I expectation. Expectation. For us that were not 844, I want to remind you something that we used to do. News ya saasaba. We used to make sure we are where the radio is. Because you could be called to be the minister and another one could be sacked. Saasaba. There is one who brought news for ministers at one. But he did not know at four he will also be sacked. His name was Professor Mbithi. He brought the, the guys to be sacked. And then at four he was also sacked. My expectation will not be cut short. So why does the enemy want to cut your expectation? Why is he concerned about your expectation? Because he knows if you are an expectant person, there is an end of that expectation. There is an end of production. After expecting, that child has to come out, right? Right? Nitisa. I say. Na kakiwa kako na nguvu kama wiki moja haijafika. Katoke haka katoto kwa igie dunia hii. Kwani? What is the problem with that? Tisa. Nine months. Nine, nine months. Nine months. Muswahili. Teach, be teaching him. Be telling him. You know. Kidogo. Yeah, tell him. I know he doesn't understand Tisa. But uh, expect. Tell him. <laughs> I'll try as much as I can to carry I'll carry as much as I can to, I'll carry you as much as I can so that I don't lose you because you are my friend now they might make a lot of noise as they scream to tell you so when the writer says that this kind of a person who God has released wisdom because earlier on he says that you can build a home with wisdom. And you can furnish your home with understanding. It is in the same, same, same chapter. So with all those things, he's trying to tell you the wicked will have problems, but those that are right and God has bestowed certain things on them, their expectation will not be cut off. So I think it is good to talk about expectations. Your steps should be ordered by the Lord. Why? Because your steps, if they are ordered by the Lord, they will also order your expectation, your steps. You are stepping and you are believing God. And as you walk towards you what God has promised, then you step by faith in the mighty name of Jesus. When you, are confidently, when you confidently expect good things to happen, good things usually happen. When you expect negative things to happen, you are usually not disappointed. They will come. But I want to expect something good. You know, last night I was talking to someone and in our conversation was, there are some Christians that have refused to, to hear God. Now, pamoja. Jinsi ya kwenda mudhaiga ama barabara ya kwenda mudhaiga The estate, the Mudaiga estate. You know the Mudaiga estate? Where they normally say, Ata umbo za kuranda randa hakuna. There are no dogs that keep on running around. Eh? It's a place where the matatus don't go through. Because sukari they can pass. Runda they thought they cannot pass. Nowadays they pass. Mudaiga, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But if God was to speak to you about Mudaiga today, bless the Lord then 
Make sure that you follow his steps to Mudaiga. Don't stay idle waiting for Mudaiga there. I, I hope you are getting it. Because to get to Mudaiga, he might cause you to go to Joska first. By the grace of God, that's what we were discussing. You go to Joska. Joska is a good place. Amen. Now, you are looking at me like you are amazed. The guy you see up here, I lived in a they, they, I heard somebody say, self-confused. Self-confused is one room that is everything. Apart from toilet and bathroom, which is outside. Where, munafunga taulo nyote. Wa mama, wa dugu, na munapanga mukugojeana. Na hiyo ilikuwa life. Kuna mama wako bere yako kimani, subiri. Aigie baf, aoge. Kwa sababu ukitoka kuna mwingine ataingia. And there, those, some of those people are here, and I can't see them. Self-confused, they are here. Nani wengi, nina waona. C844, ni self-confused. Kude isiri, nyumba za isiri, kwenye zirikuwa na mnagani. Self-confused. Park Road. Eh, mwacha kuniangalia hivyo. Kwani kaloleni hiko na mnagani? Naziwani je? But... Being in a self-confused room does not mean I will not be in a self-contained. Every time I would travel out and you see them saying, a lodging with the hot water. What were they trying to say? Is that this one is unique. It's a lodging and there is hot water. But it was a self-confused also. The hot water was somewhere. You tie your rope and you go. But I thank God that I'm no longer there. So tell your neighbor, your expectation will not be cut short. But if God wants you to go somewhere, he might start somewhere. Why we were talking that, that uh, conversation with my friend was this. Ukipata shamba kitui inauzwa miambiri ekamoja, nunua. That's what it meant. Nunua. I'm going to save until I buy Mudaiga. Don't. Buy that one. What does that mean, Chitala? It means the shambas that you have in Masaini. Now today if you want to live in Mudaiga. You sell those ones and you go to Mudaiga. But when he was buying it, how many of us thought we did, he was doing good? We thought, who you? Who you mtu wa bungoma? Anaida wapi? Ati umasaini. Hata hawezi panda maindi yuko. But you know, today he can sell what he had to buy, what he wants. Because what I have now does not stop me from what God wants me to have tomorrow, but it will be a stepping stone for what God has for me tomorrow because my expectation shall not be cut off. Amen. Greet your neighbor there, please. Tell them, neighbor, kama ni mudaiga, utaenda. Lakini anza hapo zimaman. Anza hapo gedurai. Anza hapo hapo wewe ndani hapo. Anza huko Mwehoko, anza Josika, Naruai, Kamulu, Zimaman, Sukar, anza. Because your expectation will not be cut off. Ni ndio watu wazuri sana. As I said earlier. Sisi tuliposoma university ilikuwa moja. Si ni vizuri tuambiage tu, ilikuwa moja tu. Na tuko watu Kenya mzima. Kwa hivyo, the system was like this. You do form four, they take some of you to form five and six. But they were aiming to get a few of you to that the university. So after that, they would take a few to the university. Then a few to Kenya Science and other colleges. The majority of people, were, they have been cut off at form four. Even some at Form 6 could not get the university entrance. Although it was free, you are even given bonus or boom when you are there. I can see some boomers here. You are given boom to be there. Some of us, our expectation was never cut short. Although when we go to the university, it was blocked. There was no entrance. Because they ask you, at how many... How many principles did you get? Oh, of how much? Ah, thank you very much. Try somewhere else. It is full.
But today we went to school because university is everywhere. Kwanza hapa tuko. Where we are, how many universities we have here? Zentic, K, uh, uh, Park, Usiu, KCA, KU, JKU Art, Creta, Mount Kenya, Deliverance Church International University. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so shall it be. In other words, right now they are open to everybody. Actually, somebody said Kenya now, we have so many graduates who are doing not what they trained for and some of them, believe you me, they are in this service now. Believe you me. They have their degrees, but they are not do doing what they studied. Why? Because we have oversaturated the field. We are there, we have learned. No wonder Uhuru, I mean Uhuru, mm. Uhuru rest in peace. Ruto wants to take us out like products to help all over to work there because we are full of people. Actually, East Africa, Kenya is the most educated place. Try in the matatu industry. You will meet somebody with a degree there. Kuwa, kuwa. One of the guys that were helping me build here has done become and he was taking stones. So one day he confronted me and he said, I have BA, but I have never gotten a job. So what I'm saying is true. But with all that, the point that I'm bringing, even if you are here and you have studied and you have degrees and whatever you have, and you are still pursuing what God has given you, I want to tell you, your expectation cannot be cut off. All what you need is in your step as you step out. You still speak about your expectation in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Acts chapter 3 verse 5. And this is a story where Peter and John. They, they are going to the temple. And they meet someone there that was asking for, for help. The Bible says, and he gave heed unto them. Expecting to receive something of them. He took attention. He took attention. I think the first thing for you and I to do is to be attentive because my expectation shall not be cut off. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This crippled man was healed when he paid attention and his expectation rose up. Then the servant of the Lord said, ah, we can see your expectation and it's going to be met. But your expectation was money, but we'll give you more than money. Arise, take up your mat and go. You're healed. In Jesus' name. Now that is great expectation. Your expectation shall not be cut off. Why do I say so? Because expectation is the breeding ground for miracles. You know, it is unfortunate that we want miracles, but we want them to fall on us here too. There must be something that you need to do. There is something that you need to do because expectation is the breeding ground for miracles. Also, expectation qualifies you for receivership. It causes you to be ready to receive. You are expecting. You are ready for it. You are expecting. And also, expectation separates you. It transfers you from the mass who need the miracles, hear that, to a chosen few who receive them. Because we can all be here waiting for miracle, this miracle, the other. May God transfer you to those that are chosen to receive the miracle today. And that is by expecting a miracle every day. Blessed be the name of the Lord to a chosen few. So then ex expectation is the proof of faith. Hebrews 11, 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is... And then it continues there, and he is. In other words, God is, is. God is, and he is. God is not, is, and he is not. What God is, and he is. He is not just a rewarder. He, he, is, he, 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 he is, he is. Our God is. We believe, first of all, our God is there. We believe that God is a rewarder. We believe that God can do it. We believe. Our expectation is that God is going to do it. Impossible, impossible things happen to those who expect them to happen. For verily I say unto you, Mark eleven twenty three, 
that whoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now that is what Jesus is saying. Do you have an expectation? If you have an expectation, then speak that expectation. Verbalize your expectation. You have an expectation. Speak it forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak it forth. In the book of Mark, Mark 10, verse 46 to 58, is a story of the blind Matmias. This is a great thing. Blind Matmias went to a particular spot every day. Why? Faith brought him to that gate daily. Because he believed he'll be helped. He believed there'll become people that he will, will give him something. He believed. So he went there every day without fail. But what caused him to be healed was not just to be there. It is the expectation that he had in his heart that caused him to be healed. So we are told by the scripture that he spoke loud what he wanted God to do. In other words, he yelled out. You, you, you know, sometimes you tell people, yelling, yelling, yelling. Nikupiga sauti mbaka watu wanapinduka kukuangalia. He was yelling. He was not just saying and whispering. He was yelling. He was yelling. He was Yelling, crying. But let me tell you this. Crying may get you, atten you attention. People will turn around and see you. But it takes faith and expectation to get a miracle from your yelling. You know, people can say, oh, that one was crying in church. He, he, was, he had tears every... And you might leave this with the tears, but no miracle. And there could be somebody else who was there timing for miracle and he got it because they were expecting it. Expect a miracle every day. Expect a miracle every day. So he was yelling out. But as he yelled, I think he was building faith in him. May your yelling continue building faith in God. As he kept on saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Then he would pause a little bit. And people would tell him, shut up. Then it is like they energize him. He says, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. And somebody will say, Where nyamaza apa? Shiringimbiri. And then he says, Wait, I don't want money now. Jesus is around. Jesus, son of he said that he yelled a few times, and faith is that building in him. May God help us to start building faith in us because our expectation cannot be cut off. This man kept on shouting, kept on shouting. Finally, he discovered there is something within him. Or with him that he needed to pull off. He had a garment. He needed to throw it off. Why? Because in those days, people that had infirmity were given garments. Some were given weasels. If you had leprosy, you go with a weasel, blowing the weasel, so that anybody can know you are coming. Or you go saying, I have leprosy. I have leprosy. And you dress like a person with a leprosy. So this man, a cripple, had a uniform. The uniform said, the cripple you. You are a cripple you. You are a cripple you. Oh my goodness. Look at your neighbor, tell them, you are not what they say about you. <laughs> oh, they looked at him, he's a cripple. Only worthy a few shillings. But this man, as he shouted, he discovered, no, 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 no. I have first of all to put off the garment that I have, which has yet me with begging and borrowing. May the Lord help you also to discover what garment are you wearing? Is it a garment of complaining? Is it a garment that you don't honor others or respect others? What kind of garment are you wearing? Because if you are wearing the wrong garment, your expectation can be cut off. But not Bartimaeus. Jesus, son of David. Ah, ah. Jesus, son of David. Oh, oh, oh. Then he put it off. May God help some of us to put it off. You see, now, the problem of us, you and me, is sometimes we want to be so religious. Nikitoa wataona tumbo. Siwaone. Siwaone. Nani hana tumbo. 
Ati yako ni kubwa. Si waone if they, that's what their concern is. Then by the way, you might discover nobody is concerned about your tumbo. Ushida ya tumbo ni wewe. Ai. Tumbo ni wewe. The idea of having a big stomach and a small one. No one who knows it is you. So? So? Are you hearing what I'm saying? So ask your neighbor, neighbor, I mean, what garment are you on? Because that garment in the name of the Lord, you have to put it off and shout and go for your miracle. He knew. That's why he, he threw his garment. What he was saying is this. I know I cannot see, yet I know I am not healed, yet, but if Jesus is anywhere in my vicinity, I am casting this away, fully expecting that I will never go back to that life of begging again in Jesus' name. In Itaji Manoki. Salimia, your neighbor, Mombia, be Noki. Yeah. Noki, we're Noki. Ah. My expectation shall not be cut away, but I have to shed some garments. And I don't know what garments you're wearing. May God help you to shed it out. Now that is very powerful because Bartimaeus was healed. Because Jesus said, Mulete! And he was healed. Everybody was not happy. And not everybody will be happy when you receive your miracle. Not everybody. No. Even some of your relatives. No. Actually, it even becomes worse. Some of your spouses. You know, have you, have you ever had a spouse going to the employer to tell the employer to sack the spouse? Shindwe pepo nyeusi hiyo. I mean, yeah, 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 instead of me, Wow. You know, my wife is going to be the MD of this company. Did you know that? My wife is going to be the ambassador to Philippines. You know that. Yani, you're so excited that you're going to be the first, the first man of Kenya in the Philippines. A driver to carry you and to take you back home. When Thatcher was the, pre, the, the prime minister of England, David, his husband, was just an ordinary person. But every time they got back into the house, Thatcher says she would dress with an apron and prepare meals for her husband. But when she lives out with a limo, she is the prime minister of Britain. I'm saying, if you're sitting next to your spouse, tell them, spouse, Thatcher kijicho, mimi ni wako. Yeah. I'm yours. So if I'm blessed to become the VC of St. Paul's, I'm okay. I mean, what is wrong with that? I know. I know. I'm also telling you, even brothers don't laugh when you are prospering. There are some who don't want you. Some of the witch doctors they go to is so that you don't prosper. Shindwe. How can I be afraid of my brothers? Ati nikiwacha maji nusu, nikija sita kunywa. Kama nilikuwa nikijwa chai, nikiwacha nusu, nikija sinyui, na mwaga na sema, niwekewe fresh. Why are you asking for fresh ones? Because the last time you tried, you had some poisoning. Shindwe. My expectation will not be cut off. But I have to put some things off, knowing that not everybody, can I also surprise you? Not every pastor around here is happy that we are here at Chilo. No, not everybody. Some of them would say many things. Bishop Kemani, Nabda kue kuna kadevo worship wa naobaga. Hizo pesa natawaga wapi. Shindwe! I say. Salimia jirana kwa muambia kuna watu. Hawapendi ubarikiwe. Lakini ukibarikiwa. Barikika. If you are blessed, be blessed. Amen. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. So God helped and healed this man because he had faith. And faith had expectation. What this means is this. 
this simply means this. That there is a possibility that there are people who have faith, but they have no expectation. Faith, but no expectation. Actually, if you talk to them, they are so negative about life. Everything is bad. But you cannot have expectation without faith. I hope you hear that. Because anybody who expects something knows they cannot do it with, on, your own, on their own. They need a greater power to come and help. May the Lord release that greater power upon you in the name of the Lord. Understand that faith has to come first before expectation can exist. You don't believe that it is the will of God. Then it will not happen. But if you believe it is the will of God, then your expectation shall not be cut off. If you believe you shall prosper and you expect to prosper, the Lord will bring that prosperity for you in the name of Jesus. You have to have expectation, mingle it with faith, and there is some going to have some great blessing upon you. Amen. Your reward and your expectation shall not be cut off, Proverbs 24, 14 says. You see, I'm just about to to try to finish. Tell your neighbor to try uh, to finish. If you plant, what do you expect? Is there anybody who plants and expects no harvest? A farmer who says, me, I enjoy it. I, I like these 10 acres. I plant and I don't care. None of those Things can happen. You plant and you start preparing to harvest. This joke has been said somewhere. I'm not the original thinker. Praise God. You know, sometimes you might think I am. I'm not. Those days, you would plant alone and sweat alone, digging your chamber. Those days. But when you are harvesting, you call neighbors to come and help you harvest. And after they harvest, what do they do with their chondos as they go back home? They carry something. Please invite me when you are harvesting. Don't eat alone. Because any seed that we have planted will have an increase. Amen. Let's enjoy it together. Expect your seed to, to, to produce a bountiful harvest. Expect it. Expect it. There are some ladies who went to an, an, an obst and a gyno section of a hospital. And when the doctor wanted to separate them, did not know what to do. But a thought came. He said, why don't you ask all the expected mothers to stand and go on the right? That's what he said. And all the expected mothers went on the right. They left the others. What made them leave the others is because they were carrying something that would come out at the fullness of time. I don't know how many of us in this service today know they are carrying something. You are carrying life within you. You need to be careful the way you live, what you do. If you want to go to heaven, don't mess up. Protect what you are carrying. It's precious. It's holy before God. Because women, when they are expecting, they take care. And men that are wise make sure their wives, when they are expectant, they don't struggle, they don't struggle in a matatu. They would rather uber them. Wow. Wow. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Why? Because they are carrying something and they know at the fullness of that time, it will come forth. So if you know you are carrying the Savior within you, if you are carrying the good news within you, if you are carrying eternal life within you, don't mingle, don't play, don't joke with your life. Because you might get the whole world, but lose your very soul. That is something that you need to know. So when someone is expectant, or they have symptoms, or they felt something funny, you know, and so on and so forth. Although I also said this in the first service. Na bado mimi ni pastor wako na nitakuambia hivi kuna wengine uzana hawajui akienda hospitali anapata mtoto hata hakwenda kliniki wako 
Mtoto umemsomesha hapo class 8. KCP inafanyika mwezi wa kumi na moja. Mwezi wa kumi anasikia akiumwa. Anaenda kutafuta panado. Anapimwa na daktari, anaambiwa wewe uende nyumbani umebakisha masaa. Mnaniangalia vile, vile wanaume wanaangalia wa mama wakiambiwa she is expectant. Mwingine anaangalia anasema where? Because there are some praise God. There are some when they are expecting the whole world knows. Because they walk well and the poster changes, the back pushes and the stomach comes out. There are some. But there are others. Oh, poor you. You'll be looking and wondering. Atinaskia wa mama wanasema wakiongea. What is expecting? Ya unauliza wanaume tunauliza ana expect nini huyu? Huyu lazima awe hivyo. No. Tell your neighbor sio watu wanakuaga hivyo. You know I normally tell people my mother-in-law got our last sister when when we have just as quote we had started quoting we were just about to get married but when she got the baby everybody who went to see her and discovered she has a child did not tell the others they just said aka hospitali ukienda pale chini useme jina yake utaambiwa aka ward gani hakuna mtu anaambia mwingine which ward that thought it was funny do you know why it was funny because nobody saw it including me when i was visiting there including my wife we all saw her she was okay but she was carrying a baby a beautiful baby girl salimia jirani yako mwambie what are you carrying your expectation shall not be done what shall not be cut off So some will show it others will not but if you are expectant you take care of yourself and we are all expectant may the lord help our expectation not to be cut off why is this issue of planting a seed so important a couple of things number one, your seed registers your consent to the word of god Two, your seed registers your faith in God's method. So it is not just God's word, but also his method. He can use whatever method he wants. And the desire of our heart is that it should you expect what you have planted, what the seed you have planted to manifest. So be careful, be careful what you are expecting. Be careful what you are expecting. Psalms 126 verse 6 says, he that goeth forth and weepeth bringeth bringing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing bringing his sheaves with him except you have to accept and expect the covenant blessings to manifest always expect a higher level of blessing to manifest may you express experience a blessing which will explode in your life expect the favor of god to manifest in your life expect your harvest to manifest in your life because your expectation shall not be cut off expect the answers to your prayers to manifest in Jesus name because your expectation shall not be cut off expect your healing to manifest in Jesus name because your expectation shall not be cut off expect the defeat of your enemies to manifest because your expectation shall not be cut off expect all blessing pronounced over you to manifest because they will because your expectation shall not be cut off in Jesus name expect your breakthrough to manifest because your expectation shall not be cut off expect grace for greater things to manifest because your expectation shall not be cut off the big you the big expectation you have the greater thing will happen to you when you have no expectation then no expectation will happen to you so wherever you come to church please expect something expect god to do something to you 
I think it is good to bring this to, 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 a, to a very good close. Hii pahali pazuri pa kumalizia. Kwa sababu hile arama nyekundu isha onyesha. Unajua hapa kanisa kuna arama nyekundu. Inaonagwa na muhubiri tu. Akiwa hapa ndi anaona. Na njini mkiwa huko wa muoni. Let me say these two things and then I pray. Number one. May your longing become your belonging because you have expectation. Did you hear what I said? Those things that you are longing, may God turn them to be a belonging in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It is important. I also want to say this. May your petition become your possession because of your expectation. May your petition become your law, become, become your possession because of your expectation, because your expectation shall not be cut off in the name of the Lord. I don't know what you're expecting, but I pray that God will cause all of us to be expectant. You know, Uyo jama mmeketi nae. Tafadhali muangali, muangalie vizuri. Umemuona eh? Sasa hebu muambie. Wewe do you know you are carrying millions? Unajua mnaweza kaa na mtu na ujui ni nini amebeba. Kwa mfano, mnaweza kaa na mama miaka ile yetu sio sasa saa hii wanajuaga hata kabla hajazaliwa sisi tulikuwa tunagoja tu katazaliwa mtoto kijana ama nani kijana mama nani hiyo ni kubatisha batisha lakini siku hizi mnajuaga kabla bwana yesu awabariki sana during those days when we were being born you are being born and your father would still wait there are some that waited for a son but every time a daughter would come, they say, let's do it again. A daughter will come. Let's do it again. Another daughter until the seventh comes. And then they say, sasa sons wa meanza. And then another daughter shows up. <laughs> you, you know, greet your neighbor, tell them, watoto wanatoka kwa mungu, wacha kusumbuka. Wacha, ku, don't, wacha kusumbuka. Wacha kusumbuka. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But don't forget what I said. But my oz aliangalia nguo alikuwa amevaa. Akajua hii as long as I wear it. Hata nikipona nitakuwa nikionekana nguo nimebeba ni ya kipofu. So it's good to ask your neighbor na uwe honest. Oh hapana, ninaona mtakuwa honest. Afadhali nisifanye mdanganye. Be honest with your heart kuna nguo lazima tuiweke kando kwa sababu kuna watu because we have not put it off people look and see us the way we were may we throw it off because if jesus is around he can heal he can save he can deliver he can redeem us he has all the power to do that for us what is your expectation because your expectation shall not be cut Let's all stand. I want to pray for you. But before I pray for you, I want to pray for your neighbor yourself. Because I told you all of us are expectant, right? So that mtu uh, asikae sana miaka kumi, bado wana expect mtoto. Huyo mtoto si mtoto basi. Eh? Na akikaa zaidi atakufa. Wacha atoke akifika miezi tisa. Na ikiogezeka wiki moja. Muzikubali ya kufuke ati mwaka moja uwe ukisema. Praise God. I've been expected now for two years. We. Cha, uchunguzwe. Kunaiza kuwa kuna maafa ilifanyika kitambo. Na akianza kuozea tumbo. Hata wewe umeanza kuoza na ujui. So if there is that expectation that you have. May God cause that expectation to come forth. Right? May the expectation that you have 
come to be. I want you to pray for your neighbor. Release that blessing upon them. That God will release the expectation. Whatever they are expecting. Whether it's a job that they are expecting. Provision that they are expecting. Healing that they are expecting. Promotion that they are expecting. Whatever miracle they are expecting. May the Lord God who honors and does not cut our expectation come through for your neighbor there. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed Savior, King of Kings, it is true that our expectation shall not be cut off. It will get to the full fruition in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you and we want to give you praise, Heavenly Father, because there are miracles that you are going to do for us right here in this sanctuary today because Shiloh is a place of breakthrough. May there be the breakthroughs in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus to the praise and to the glory of your dear name. We want to thank you. We want to thank you. We want to give you praise because you are God and beside you there is none other. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, just believe. Just believe. God will make a way. He will find a way to perform a miracle for you. Every day. Expect a miracle every day. Expect a miracle when you pray. If you believe in God, he find a way to